Let's say that you have two parts that you want to position relative to each other in a very, very precise manner. And when I say precise, I mean down to a couple thousandths of an inch. Now, how could you do that? What could you do to ensure that these two parts line up exactly the way that you want within a few thousandths of an inch? One, one way you might think about is, well, what if you use screws to combine these two parts? And yes, screws will combine two parts in uh, a pretty close manner, but they're not going to get you down to a few thousandths of an inch. And sometimes, for high precision applications, you need to be within a few thousandths of an inch. And so screws don't get, to, get you there. Uh, I'm going to draw a quick picture here to illustrate kind of what I mean. And this is going to be a cross-section view. So uh, let's say that, well, I'll start up here. Let's say that we've got, I don't know, this plate. And we're looking top down on it, and this is the head of a screw. Got a little hex interface there. That's the head of a screw. And we're going to cut this plate in half. We're going to cut it in half in that line, and then we're going to look at it in, in that direction. Okay, so what we're doing here, I'm going to delete that part. Now we're looking at it in a side view, cross-sectioned. So we've got this plate here, and there's a hole in the, in the middle of it. And we have our, I'll draw it in a different color, our screw head that comes down here. Beautiful screw head. I guess technically there's a little dip in there because that's where your driver goes. So th this is the plate looking at it from a side view, and I'll draw some cross hatching there to indicate that's solid material. We're looking at the uh, cut in half plate here. Same thing on our screw. We've cut it in half. <clears throat> now you see the uh, the gap right here and right here. This gap right there and right there. Typically that's going to be maybe ten thousandths of an inch, something like that. And so there's room for this plate to, to float, right? This plate can, can float that way or that way by five to ten thousandths of an inch, something like that. And for most applications, that's just fine and you don't need to do anything else. But for some applications, you want to make sure that there is almost zero play or wiggle between parts. And for that, you use dowel pins. So here's a box of, box of dowel pins. Um, dowel pins are typically measured by the diameter and their length. So this is a 3 16 diameter dowel pin by 3 quarters of an inch long. I'll take one out here. Okay, so th there's a dowel pin. This is, uh, what is it? It's an alloy steel. This is a very strong dowel pin. And dowel pins are manufactured to extremely high tolerances, meaning they're very, very precise on the diameter. The length is you know, not, not quite as tightly as controlled, and that's fine. It doesn't need to be. But the diameter is typically controlled down to a couple ten thousandths of an inch. So take a thousandth of an inch and divide it by ten, and that's a ten thousandth of an inch. And these are typically controlled down to a couple ten thousandths of an inch, so extremely high uh, precision. So now, what, what does our plate look like, again, if, if we're using dowel pins? Uh, and to, to really illustrate this, we need to show two plates. So let's draw um, kind of a, a perspective, perspective view. We've got one plate here, like that. And then let's say we've got a second plate underneath it something like that and there's a hole uh, we want these two plates to line up exactly with with each other so if we put a screw in there uh, there's going to be some floating some um, some shifting that can occur relative between the two plates but if we use dowel pins actually before I erase that what we would do is we put one dowel pin here and one dowel pin there. So those are holes and the actual dowel pins you know, are, are sticking up a little bit like that. They're going through holes that are in both of these parts. So if we do a cross-section side view, so we're going to 
cut this whole thing in half right there. And then we're going to look at it in this direction, so looking at the side view. So let's erase that. Delete this. Oops. All right. So we've got our uh, one plate on top. There's a hole right there for the dowel. And then a second hole for the other dowel. And then we've got our bottom plate. Hole for the dowel. And a second hole for the dowel. Wanna erase a little bit right there. And then we've got our dowel pins that fit in here, just like that. And these are extremely tightly controlled on the diameter, so there is almost no gap in in these areas here. Almost zero gap. And what you would do in an application like this is you would press fit the dowel pins into this bottom, this this gray part. You'd press fit your dowel pins in there so that they're more or less permanently installed in the in the bottom part. And then on the top part, you have holes that are just a little tiny bit bigger than uh, the dowel pin diameter. So this dowel pin diameter is uh, 3 16 of an inch, 0 0.1875. Um, and so we, we might use 0 0.1873 down to 0 0.1868, something like that for the diameter in the, the gray plate. And that would give us our, our press fit diameter, right? The diameter in the plate is a little bit smaller than the diameter of the dowel. That creates some interference and in, in some heavy friction between the two parts when they're pressed together. Uh, and then for our diameter and the hole in the black plate, we might use something like I don't know, 0 0.187, um, 0 0.187, uh, maybe like 0 0.188 up to 0.189. Something like that. You might even go a little bit smaller. You, you could probably get away with 0.1878 up to 0.1885, something like that. So that's the, the dimension of the hole in the plate. And then you also need to tightly control the, the distance between those two holes. When you give this to a machinist to make, uh, you need to tell the machinist that you want to control the position of those two holes very tightly. Because if the, the position is off, even if your diameter is correct, then the, the top plate's not going to fit over the bottom plate. So, you know, maybe that's an inch apart, so you'd say one inch, and then you need to give the machinist a tolerance because nothing is ever perfect. Say one inch plus or minus 0 0.001, so plus or minus one thousandth of an inch. And if you really needed to, you could even go 0 0.0005, so plus or minus five ten thousandths of an inch. Something like that. These numbers are, I haven't thought through it completely, but something like that is what you would do. And uh, w what the part might look like, so this right here is a part that we did, uh, oh, I don't know, a while back for something. And you can see that these two dowel pins have been pressed into the part. Now this is just the bottom part. Uh, I, I'm not showing the top part. I can't find that one. But there is a top part that looks kind of like this black one here with two holes in it that are slightly larger than the dowel diameter hole, or the, than the dowel pin diameter. And that top plate slides just nice and smoothly, perfectly right on top of these two dowel pins. And once that happens, your top plate is just perfectly um, placed on top of th this bottom plate. So now you have these two plates that are positioned relative to one another in a very, very precise manner. And uh, I'm, I'm showing, you know, plates as a simple example, but it doesn't have to be a plate. It could be any two shapes that uh, can, you know, that, that you can position relative to one another using dowel pins. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires. Our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.